So friends, let's take our next question. That is question number 175. This question belongs to chapter Mechanical Properties of Fluids. As per the question, a capillary tube of radius R is immersed in water and water rises to height H. The mass of the water in the capillary tube is 5 grams. Another capillary tube of radius 2R is immersed in the same water. The mass of the water that will rise in this tube, right? So, first of all, we need to understand that what is the formula for capillarity? Height is 2 sigma cos theta. Sigma would be surface tension rho g r, right? So, H is inversely proportional to R for same substance and same glass and water. It can be written as H1 upon H2 would be equal to R2 by R1. That is equals to 2R by R. That is equals to 2, right? Now, when we talk about the mass, so in that case, M1 upon M2 will be equal to volume 1 into density divided by volume 2 into density. Since the densities are same, it will come down to volume ratio. So, it is pi R1 square H1 divided by pi R2 square H2, right? So, M1 upon M2, things will be cancelled. We will get R1 by R2 whole square. And in terms of H1 by H2, I can write R2 by R1. So, this will come to simply R1 by R2, which is equals to R by 2R. So, m1 by m2 is equals to 5 by m2 because this is 5 gram we know that that is equals to 1 by 2 therefore we can say m2 will be 10 grams right it's a simple application question so as per the options given option number 2 is the most correct option i hope you have understood the question now let's move on to our next question now, this question belongs to the chapter units and measurements. Here, a screw gauge has least count of 0.01 mm and there are 50 divisions in its circular scale. The pitch of the screw gauge is, so, in this case, least count is given by pitch divided by number of divisions right so least count is given to us number of division is given to us that simple question pitch would be equal to 0 0.01 into 50 so this will be 0 0.5 mm let's see which is the best suited option among the four yes option number two is the correct answer to this question I hope you have understood this one. Now, let's move on to our next question. Question number 177. This belongs to chapter semiconductors and devices. This question is what is the logic circuit? We have to find truth table. Dhunna hai. So, for the input A, this is not gate. So, what we will get here is A bar. Similarly, this is B. This is not gate. Hai. Yahan pe milega B bar. This is nor gate. So, the output will be A bar plus B bar ka whole bar over. Right? So, this is truth table. Banate. So, this is the table which I have already made for you the framework solution. Let's take this as A, this as B. Ye ho jayega hamara A bar, ye ho gaya hamara B bar, ye ho gaya A bar plus B bar, ye hua Y. So, truth table basically ye, ye or isse banega, right? Hame yahi output meninge. Let's take 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. So, what is A bar would be 1, 1, 0 and 0. This is B bar would be 1, 0, 1, 0. When you add this, you will get 1, 1 plus 1, 1, 1 and 0. And this is what the reverse of because it is the opposite of. So, it is 0, 0, 0, 1. So, with the input of 0 and 0, you will get zeros. 0, 1, you will again get 0, 1 and 0, again 0. That means whenever 0 is coming, you will get a 0 output. But when both are 1, then the output would be 1. Let's see which is the best suited option here. If you see the first option, so it says 0 and 1 output is 1. This is not possible. This is B, 0, 0, 1. This is again not possible. Let's see the third one, 0, 1, 0, 1. This is not possible. This one, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. That means this is the correct option. So right answer to this question would be 
option number four. I hope you have understood the question very easily. Now let's move on to our next question.